really far. Let's talk about numbers. There are three types of numbers. Now, for the most part, Dart and JavaScript have the same thing. It's called a number. It's a number and a decimal that goes 50 billion miles. It's like a 64-bit unsigned or some insanity. However, Dart has ways of being more explicit. So, for example, if I say num age equals 34, we all know that's a number. You can see by default it is green. Okay. If we say age equals 2, that's fine as well. If we say age equals 2.5, that's also okay because it is a num, right? Not a big deal. So number is basically anything that's a number, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a decimal, it's one of those E things, right? Really large numbers, negative numbers, age equals negative two. I'm really an idea in my parents' head or maybe I don't even exist yet. Who knows, right? And as soon as you go age equals, oh, phone is ringing, oh my God, get it together. Dart will be like, you can't take a number and assign it to a string, Jesse. You're not sure what you're doing. So you get that type protection, right? And this is optional. You can go back to var and you're like, look, I don't have time to fix this. It's weird code. Problem solved, right? The beauty of dynamic languages. But again, there are some values beyond just having clear intent, having compiler help in large code bases with multi-person team members. There are certain optimizations that the compiler can do by using your type. So for example, if we say it's an int, an int is not a decimal, right? So age won't work down here at 2.5 because it is a float or a double or a decimal point number, whatever you want to call it, right? So you can't do that. Now, if I say it's a double, none of these are okay because they don't designate how far the decimal goes, how far the zero goes. What's the decimal point we're talking about here? So as soon as you add a decimal, you are good to go, Funky Comedina. So that's the value of that. The compiler looks at these from a mathematical operation, from a loop situation, and does all kinds of neat things to optimize this based on your usage of int, double, or num. Okay, so be aware that there are things beyond our purview that actually happen when your code compiles down that utilizing these things can optimize your code in a good way. That's mainly for the algorithm writers and the game developers. For the rest of the application, we're like, okay, I just need a number, bro. Like the Ruby guy sent me a number and it's a number.